Today I'm going to talk to you about a gallant pilot of the Indian Air Force, Air Vice Marshal Cecil Vivian Parker, who ravaged the Pakistani oil refinery at Atok and who ravaged the Pakistani air base at Peshawar and Chaklala, including damaging air installations and getting hit as well. This is a pilot who made history after winning the Mahavir Chakra for his services in the war. It was the decision of the Indian Air Force to induct the new Hawker Hunter Mark 56A aircrafts. These aircrafts were present in the 20 squadron commanded by Wing Commander Cecil Vivian Parker in the year 1971. At that time, these Hawker Hunters had four 30mm guns alongside their normal weapons and rockets and had the capacity to have 230 gallons of fuel. The squadron was located at Pathan Kot Air Base. Now, when war broke out with Pakistan on the 3rd of December, the Pakistani Air Force pounded the Pathan Kot Air Base from 5.15 p.m. And on the next day, before the first light of the 4th of December, Wing Commander Cecil Vivian Parker and his squadron were tasked to, to hit the Pakistani Air Force Base at Peshawar. Wing Commander Cecil Vivian Parker and Flight Lieutenant C.S. Dillon took off in their hunters. At that time, even at dawn, there was very low visibility. Hence, when they approached the air base, not a single anti-aircraft gun opened fire on them. At that time, there were two Pakistani F-86 Sabres in the air, but they couldn't spot these two approaching Hawker Hunters in the air. Seeing this, Flight Lieutenant C.S. Dillon fired on the fuel depots in the airbase while Wing Commander Parker opened his guns on various installations inside the airbase. This caused considerable damage to the airbase, but right then, the two Pakistani sabers alongside another saber got onto their tail. These three sabers opened fire, especially on Wing Commander Parker's aircraft. At that time, Wing Commander Parker broke into them and then made a reverse taking advantage of the Hawker Hunter's super turning ability and turning radius. At that time, one of the Sabres overshot and came in front of him, for which Wing Commander Parker opened fire on that Sabre. It was not a long burst, just a short amount of, just a few rounds, but he was not sure whether he hit him, though his gun camera spotted that aircraft in front of him. But during this heavy dogfighting, Wing Commander Parker's aircraft closed near the Aknur area, where there was heavy ground fighting going down there. At that time, both sides opened fire on his aircraft. Unfortunately, his aircraft was hit. He and Flight Lieutenant Dillon decided to come back and they were guided back to the Pathan Kot Air Base. Coming down, he noticed that his Hawker Hunter had 22 hits, while Flight Lieutenant C.S. Dillon had 4 hits on his aircraft. Now, with this successful air raid over Peshawar Air Base, the SASO of the Western Air Command from Delhi ordered the 20 Squadron to launch more airstrikes on the Peshawar Air Base. The reason why was to keep the PAF at the Peshawar Air Base grounded so that they couldn't do anything to the Indian ground forces nearby who were involved with the heavy fighting against the Pakistani military. Hence, Wing Commander Parker ordered another formation of his 20 squadron to take off and hit Peshawar Air Base. But unfortunately, he lost one hunter in the process alongside the pilot. Now, the next target given to the 20 squadron was to hit the Pakistani oil refinery at Atok. Atok was close to Islamabad and for this, Wing Commander Parker and his team needed some training. Hence, they made some low, high, low flights from Pathan Kot and flying to Ambala and Ahmedabad alongside training with high explosives and ball ammunition from their guns and carrying out gun strikes on the Sarmak gun range targets. And after they were successful with their training, on the 6th of December, they planned to hit the Pakistani oil refinery at Atok. But from intelligence, they heard that there were numerous air defense guns placed near the refinery. And these air defense guns were controlled from the Chaklala Air Base. Hence, Wing Commander Parker decided to at first hit the Chaklala Air Base. He led the formation of four aircrafts and struck terror in the hearts of the Chaklala Air Base personnel, including damaging numerous installations. Then he led the attack on the refinery. From the north and east approaches on the, on the refinery, there were almost no air defense gunfire on his aircrafts. But from the approaches from the north and south, there was considerable air defense gunfire on his aircrafts. Yet, the four aircrafts ravaged the refinery, causing one of the biggest blazes to be spotted. Burning blazes of the Atok oil refinery was so much that the Canberra aircrafts that took off that very night for another air raid, they spotted that blaze from the sky. Also, on the 4th of December itself, the Indian Navy had caused considerable damage to the Kiamari oil fields. Now, with the destruction of the oil reserves of Pakistan, Pakistan was having very much trouble in keeping up their war effort. On the 8th of December, Wing Commander Parker was again ordered to strike the Atok oil refinery. But when he went there, he spotted that the oil refinery was already in ruins. He took part in the, late, in the other offensives in the war and for his extraordinary service in the war, he was awarded the Mahavir Chakra. He later retired as Air Vice Marshal from the Indian Air Force. Such a story needs a lot of sharing. Hence, 
I'm asking you all to like and subscribe to this channel, including share all of my videos so that people get to know about such heroes and their heroic deeds in the 1971 war. Thank you for listening.